Yo, what's up guys, Varkozy here with a quick and easy Zhu Yuan guide. Today we are going to dive into how to maximize your damage rotation on everyone's favorite police officer. For this I am going to assume you know the basics of her kit and maybe have used her once or twice in combat already. But don't worry, if you're completely new to Zhu Yuan or maybe she's having a V1 in a year from now, I will give you a quick TLDR rundown of her kit. So let us get started with that first and afterwards let us talk about our optimal damage rotation. In the top left corner you will see your shot shell counter. You can hold up to 9 shot shells which will increase your basic attack damage. Zhu Yuan has two types of basic attacks. Her normal attack chain where you simply smash your left mouse button and her enhanced attack chain where you hold down your left mouse button. The hold version is the one which is going to consume your shot shells in order to deal increased ether damage. So how do you regenerate those shot shells super easy, use your ultimate, act special attack, chain attack, quick assist, as well as your dodge counter or a full normal attack chain. Each of those regenerates a different amount of shot shells and if I did everything correctly you should see the specific amount for every single ability on the screen right now. The key reason as to why Zhu Yuan is so busted is her core skill enhancement. This allows you to deal additional damage to stunned opponents stacking on top of the already existing damage modifier for stunned enemies. Basically, Zhu Yuan is an absolute boss shredder. Now let us take this knowledge into the game and optimize our damage rotation, especially when it comes to stunned opponents. Remember, our stun window in the game is pretty short just a few seconds so we need to make every moment count. The core mechanic we are going to exploit is Zhu Yuan's second dodge ability. You have your normal dodge, your right mouse button, but you also have a unique dodge ability in her kit. This second dodge is key to quickly dumping all of your shot shells into your opponents. Let's first figure out how to trigger that dodge ability, it is fairly simple once you get the hang of it, but it can be a bit confusing if you're new to Zhu Yuan. So let us start a random mission here and after that we can practice it for a bit. First let me show you what it actually looks like so that you can get a feeling for it. This is kinda all there is to it. This short yet super important dodge roll in between your attacks. You can use that in order to A dodge your opponent's attacks and B use it to partially reset your attack chain. If you keep attacking with Zhu Yuan after you use one of her dodges she is going to continue from a very specific point in her attack chain. This is what people use in order to maximize her damage as well as her shot shell regeneration. Now how do you trigger it? Super simple. Her dodges can be activated by inputting your left or right movement key and then your basic attack key only after you already started your basic attack chain. If we want to use this to your advantage in order to generate more shot shells, our combo would look like this. Use your basic attack chain 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, at which point you will do your dodge roll in order to restart your basic attack chain from point 3. You can loop this whole attack chain over and over again which will help you to quickly generate shot shells. At this point I would advise you to simply pause the video, do a few practice ones and once you get the hang of it we can use this whole tag or her burst window. Alright, I'm going to assume you are back from your practice one so let us now take a look at how to do the same for your enhanced basic attack. Now if you remember, for your enhanced basic attack you need to hold down your left mouse button. Fortunately. Triggering the dodge roll here is much much easier than it is for her normal attack chain. All you need to do is to hold your left or right movement key or your forward or back key during a specific moment in your attack chain. I will slow down the footage a bit so you can see what I mean. When doing your enhanced attack chain she is going to do two slow attacks followed by a bunch of fast paced attacks. You want to press maybe even hold your movement key while she is doing this fast paced attack. So right here. Once she's done with it and if you did it correctly she will do a dodge roll and afterwards she will continue her attack chain with our 3 step fast pace attack. As a cherry on top she will even use one of her shells while doing her dodge roll. And if you did everything correctly she will use up all 9 shot shells with a simple yet effective attack chain. This entire process 
will save us around 1 or 2 seconds, which at first glance is not a whole lot. But it will allow us to either use her ultimate or her X special attack on our boss as well while he is stunned. And that will result in a massive damage gain. And if you're lucky enough, you might even be able to dump all of your new shotgun shells into your opponent while he is still recovering. As a quick side note here, if you use your ultimate or your X special attack, she will skip the short backflip attack she does at the beginning of her attack animation and that will allow you to dump your shotgun shells at an even faster pace. And this is more or less how you play her. Dump all of your ammo into your opponents while they are stunned and you will see some stupid boss damage. Lastly, your Shane attack rotation also plays a role when it comes to her overall damage performance. So let us quickly talk about that before we can finish off our video here with my own opinion as to why she might be a future-proof character at least for the time being. When it comes to our rotation, I'm simply going to assume that we are using Envy and Nicole as her teammates. That might change in the future, but everything I'm going to say should also be applicable even in a year from now. First up, stun your opponents by using Envy. After that, switch to Zhi Yuan, followed by Envy again if you're fighting a high-level enemy. If you're fighting a normal enemy, you can simply ignore the step. After using Envy, use your Bangbu, followed by Nicole. Nicole will activate her own core skill enhancement, which will result in an overall damage gain. And at the very end of it, you can use your quick assist in order to switch to Zhu Yuan. That is your basic rotation. The reason as to why we end our attack chain on Nicole is because the defense reduction she applies to your opponents is only active for a few seconds. So we want to gain the most damage out of it by using her last. Finally, let me give you my own opinion as to why I think she might be a fairly good DPS character for the time being. First of all, she makes use of a core mechanic in the game, stunned opponents. This puts her into the stratosphere when it comes to pure boss damage. She is absolutely unparalleled when it comes to that. Secondly, one of her best teams is a free-to-play friendly team. You get Nicole and Envy just by playing the game and both of them are fairly good characters. On top of that, when creating this video, Zhu Yan is the only available character from the Criminal Investigation Special Response Team. And I had to practice this whole aspect a few times because getting this down is not easy. That means we are going to get a bunch of characters fairly soon who will also be part of this faction and as such, all of them should have synergy with Zhu Yuan in one way or the other. And lastly, she is super simple to build and play. All you need is some crit rate and crit damage as well as attack, as well as maybe ether damage on her drive disc number 4 and you are good to go. So yeah, in my opinion a really powerful character and you don't even need her signature W engine, she's absolutely fine if you simply equip her with our good old trusted starlight engine. Not to mention, look at her, let's be honest here, I would have no problem being arrested by her. God damn. Either way, let me know what you think regarding Zhi Yuan down in the comments. I hope this short and easy guide was somewhat helpful. And as always, have a great day or night wherever you live. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.